<laughs> have you seen the video of the there, there's like real quick it's a reporter and he asks a dog a question he's like and what did you think the incidents and the dog gets to the microphone and goes <laughs> it's like back to you <laughs> I do that to my dog all the time oh uh, that's so good anyway uh, that's sad that's content that's all we need they're the best we can quit now. <laughs> <laughs> go watch that instead yep. I'm kidding support this podcast listen Are to we? this right now <laughs> This is Rough Stuff, the podcast where we invite our friends on to tell us embarrassing stories from their childhood and humiliate themselves with us. Uh, I am your co-host, Bridget Greenberg, and I forgot my fun fact. Jesus Christ. (laughs) Excellent. Oh my God. I am so sorry, everyone. I'm (laughs) doing a shit job today. (laughs) This is why I can't go live on a web stream. (laughs) No, this is why you're going to see what a mess I am every time I come in to record these. Um... That's not funny. Anyway, what was my fun fact? I had Oh, right. I got an FBI notice for illegally streaming Batman v Superman. And was it worth it? No. <laughs> it's also stupid because I did it for a cracked video. Why I had to watch that movie it was for a cracked video when they would have paid for my movie ticket if but we no. made the video about it. But instead, I almost got fined $500,000. Mm. Oh my God. Small That's price. How much it is. Yeah. Small <laughs> price to pay to see a masterpiece. A in masterpiece. My opinion. <laughs> uh, and I am Sarah Griffith. And uh, when I was a freshman in high school, I jokingly made a Facebook group um, that was called um, Americans Against Canadians. <laughs> and my whole premise was that we should take over Canada. And um, it inspired. Holds up. <laughs> it, it, it inspired quite a, a lot movement. of vitriol <laughs> on the comment section <laughs> that I was like kind of getting into. And then after like my. Fifth or sixth very angry Facebook message. I was like, I have to pull this down. <laughs> Good for you. I would have kept fighting if I was young enough. I it lasted too long, yeah. I think. All right. Well, with us I, is our um, guest, Christian Ramirez. Yeah. Don't step on me. I'm sorry. <laughs> now you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and um when I was in junior high, my friends and I did a lip sync of the newsies seize the day. But I'm not actually embarrassed about that. No. <laughs> no, I bet, it, I bet it was really good and really well done. And oh, everybody yeah, loved it. And you were the most popular what? boy uh, in school. <laughs> wait, why? For um, what? For it was, there, <laughs> there was like a lip sync thing that we did okay. in eighth grade that a bunch of other people did. Like, Okay. Yeah, a bunch of other... I can't even remember what there was that year, what the popular songs were that year. I remember one it, kid it did... It was probably well, the Newsy soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it most certainly was not. <laughs> I think we were the only three that had heard that song before. Um, wow. But yeah, somebody else did like Blue. Somebody did a Smash oh. Mouth song. Oh, so me. it was I those years. Walking on the Sun, I think. Yeah. That's a good song. Uh, yeah. uh, I did um, like forensics, basically, in middle school. And like one of the categories was... Lips. It was like basically kind of like yeah. equal parts debate, speech and debate, and then like humorous and terp and poetry reading and like oh, okay. that kind of shit. Um, and so my friends and I, like lip sync was always the category. It's like, yeah, might as well also tack that onto the weekend's events anyways because sure. it's really like we didn't take it seriously. Um, and we did a lip sync to I think I won't say I'm in love from the Hercules soundtrack, which is like, duh, of course. But it was my... <laughs> the obvious choice. Of course. Yeah. There were like a group of middle school girls that was like yeah. it. Yeah. Um, but my iPod was the one that I was using the music for. Mm-hmm. And then um, I was really ahead oh. of my time. I, <laughs> I, know exactly, I know exactly where this is going. Uh, I was really ahead of my time. I've been an ABBA fan my whole life. Nice. This is pre-Mamma Mia. This is like... I yeah, was before always about ABBA it. was cool. You know, exactly. Um, <laughs> After ABBA was cool. cool. And then before it was cool right. again. We're in the, we're in the pre-ABBA is cool phase well yeah oh, like post- in between <laughs> yeah, exactly. in between their big yeah. 70s debut and now yeah, with the, the postmodern <laughs> abba school exactly i really led the renaissance the renaissance hey. um wow that was awful this and i'm sorry circling the drain <laughs> anyway Somebody's gonna say that. <laughs> uh my ipod shuffled to the next song yep. which happens to be super trooper nice yep. which as an adult i could tell you the opening of that song fucking bang so hard it's that opening <laughs> yeah. But as a 13-year-old and being like down with the lip sync and being like cool with my friends and then here comes super trooper <laughs> beams are gonna blind uh, and literally everyone was like what the fuck is this song? And I was like oh, no, it's my mom's song. I don't know anything about it. I, oh my God. Having your iPod like giving it away and leaving it up to shuffle mm-hmm. around people 
is such a <laughs> like real crapshoot you're putting yourself it really through is. of like, ooh, do I trust myself? Yeah. I have some cool songs. <laughs> I know for sure I listen to cool music. But you're gonna get one. I day also more downloaded. From, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I also downloaded the 10th anniversary <laughs> Layman soundtrack. Yeah, you're gonna get the yeah. Alvin and the Chipmunks Christmas song. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I'm coming out of nowhere. <laughs> I, <laughs> I I remember doing that once. Uh, something happened where I guess my iPod was playing, and then it like in my pocket or something, and I gave it to someone to put on. And there was that song. Um, I, there's no way to remember the band's name, but it was called Handlebars. Uh, oh, I can't remember no handlebars. handlebars. Yeah. <laughs> and the end of that song. Oh, can we not do that? The flow bots. I can't believe the flow. Oh, the flow bots. Sorry, Swain was like looking and like waving like we're his hands. Have to pay and them I was now, like, like twenty cents. <laughs> to I, was like, just, I was like, just cut it out if we can't use it. <laughs> no, Swain's just a big flow bots fan. Uh, I'm, I'm killing him. I'm killing him right now. Um, but yeah, the end of that song, as Swaim can tell you, is like a very like loud screaming, and I can end the world with a nuclear holocaust. Oh. And they're screaming it, and I guess it was at that part of the song when they plugged it in, and so <gasps> that's what everyone heard throughout the car was that like I was listening to was I can end the world, and everyone's like, are you? Okay. <laughs> uh, but you know, it started out as something embarrassing. My shuffle landmines is now like something I, and Bridget can attest is how I fuck with people when it's like, yo, pass me the ox. I got like a sick song I want to play. And then I throw in like kiss from a rose by seal. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like like everyone's amazing. like really enjoying like really good songs. I'm like, mm-hmm. yo, check this shit out. Africa by Toto. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's always a banger when you do that. Fast car. I was literally <laughs> fast car by Tracy Chapman is the one just it's throw so that good on because you're not going to turn it off. No, I think that's a crime in seven states to do that. To turn yeah. it off. To turn off fast car. Yeah, but I just this is why like I can never be a DJ because I would actually play like good music, but then sure. throw in like Chumpa Wumpa by Tump Thumping, like throw yeah. in one that's like curveball. <laughs> Didn't expect <laughs> that. Then it's time. Yeah, I got a fast car. Like turn this shit up, bro. <laughs> it's rage. Ah, uh, Christian. Yes. Hello. <laughs> I'm enjoying this. What? Well, yes, Bridget. But no, it's your turn. Uh, Sam yeah, and I no. can talk about Fast Car and have for maybe oh, two we weeks have, at a we time. We have a uh, podcast, actually. A Fast Car podcast. Uh, yeah. Fast Cast. Uh, fast Cast. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about a new fast Tracy cast. Chapman song yeah. every week, although it just so happens that Fast Car's been the, yeah. the song we've been talking about for, yeah. uh, for 52 weeks. Um, you've brought a yearbook. Yeah. Which is ambitious of you and yeah. brave. Uh, okay, oh here's my the, god, so many signatures. Is, you were cool. I I don't know if I was that cool, but um, <laughs> I was going to bring something more embarrassing, which was oh, this chicken. My book of songs that I wrote <gasps> in high school. I wasn't able to find them. Oh. If I ever come back, I will bring them. <laughs> The minute you find it, you're coming back. <laughs> you can also at no, any time doing, post yeah. it on Twitter. We'll retweet it at Pod. Yeah. We'll be happy Yeah, we'll to... get real uh, circulation on it. No, yeah. but this oh, yeah. was just mostly for inspiration. There, yeah. I thought it would be fun. There's phone numbers in here. That uh, I was like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I don't know if it's that kind call of it. a thing. Let's call it right now. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I mean, he'll, I'll be like, hello, is Stacy there? <laughs> he hasn't lived here in 20 <laughs> years. Do, do, do. The number you're trying to call <laughs> yeah, exactly. is not connected because it's a landline and it's 2019. But yeah, there's definitely pictures of me in here from drama that Ooh, might be enjoyable. Drama. Oh, yeah. Drama. There you go. Well, yeah. okay. I will say that there's definitely pictures of me doing the talent show when my friends and I did Josie and the Pussycats uh, pretend to be nice. Who yes. are you? I was the drummer. Nice. I, <laughs> okay. I can still play drums, but I haven't done it in a long time. But yeah, um, <laughs> we played Pretend to Be Nice uh, one of my f- while two of my friends acted out the song in front Interpretive of Interpretive dance. <laughs> the- <laughs> yeah, kind of. Um, they I've, just kind of played out yeah. the, whole, the whole scene of why can't you just pretend to be nice. Yeah. And uh, my friend Matt dressed in drag and threw himself at my friend Ruben. <laughs> And yeah, that was, I mean, like I said, so that, there's nothing that embarrasses me, but it might be embarrassing for them. Uh, Matt and Ruben, <laughs> I hope you're listening to this. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, there's, that, I think like, why do so many of us go through a phase when we're young where we're like, okay, we can really choreograph this and yeah. direct this and block <laughs> this very well. Oh yeah. Because we, everybody has too much, an overestimated 
opinion of themselves when they're a teenager. No, but do yeah. we get that from media? Like, where the fuck do we develop that? Because I like also choreographed a few things for like different talent shows, and I mean, like, I also was doing theater in high school, so like, yeah, we were like learning how to block, but like. Just with such abandon would be like, okay, yeah, no, I really have like a vision for this. <laughs> um, like, okay, this is really going to challenge what people yeah. think about. It's like we just go through that phase of like, yeah, yeah, so I'm doing something. I think you get here. on a creative roll and you're just like, yeah. I'm going to do it. It's, and I then, think yeah. like the first time you see like I don't know Julie Tamor's production of The Lion King, or like there's always like some. <laughs> Day. You could do it better. Yeah. yeah, we're like, you're like, oh, theater doesn't have to just be. Yeah. Or like, music doesn't have to just be, and dance doesn't have to just be. And it's like, yeah. but sometimes it does because that's <laughs> reliably good yeah. and you're not making an ass out of yourself. But yeah, it's like, I, I think a lot of us, at least a lot of us that do this kind of stuff now, definitely had that phase in high school where we were making video yeah. project projects Hell yeah. for things where we didn't have to make a video. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Like, just dude. Way this too is much. an English presentation yeah. about Of Mice and Men. We don't need you all <laughs> like, to make there, a short Of Mice and Men there are comedy vi- movie for some reason. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a I, I have videos of me on it's Facebook. It's about the mouse. Yeah. We, <laughs> 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 we, um, I mean, because we did go to performing arts school, so we definitely got to get away with like can we make mm-hmm. this a video presentation there's a video of me on facebook with my friends where we are literally talking about it was a group project about the periodic table of elements mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. we have a video explaining potassium <laughs> like that no. like how does that translate to a short <laughs> video and it really was just us and like different like we were just standing in different parts of the school being yeah. like, yeah. potassium, element is K. Potassium can be found in fruits like banana. Like I, That's like the extent of what I know about it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't talk that's, about that and anymore. And that's the only thing t- we have about potassium. Uh, and that's the only thing science knows about it. Uh, yeah. So far. We, I rem- we're, I, we're still cracking that nut. Still, <laughs> <laughs> still figuring out what the potential holds. A whole new world, maybe. Um, I remember making a video with my friend. Um, we almost got in a lot of trouble for it because <laughs> are we called it, it uh, her her name starts with an M, so we called it a BM production. Mm. <laughs> and we thought that was very mm. funny. Bridget. <laughs> of it's course. hilarious. It's, very, it's objectively <laughs> funny, and it holds up, and... My humor has not changed. <laughs> was uh, it a real piece of shit? Yeah. Hey. Oh, it was, it was. It was very bad, and it was like a video for a science project that was unnecessary. Yeah. Um, and we put the like plate that we made of BM production in maybe three times. Oh, like at the uh, beginning of the room, and, and everyone was just like, "What?" And I remember the last one said, "A BM production." Get it. <laughs> <laughs> Which is still funny to me. <laughs> no, that's that's, that's good. good. That's, that's, that's a and good oh, no one found it funny. <laughs> oh, we Not do now person. in the future. Th- yeah, yeah, but I was ahead of my time. <laughs> 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 they weren't mature enough to get it, you yeah. know. Uh, uh. Uh, but Kristen, tell us a little. What were you like in uh, in your early in your my awkward high school phase. years. Yeah. Um, you I, can go before that. Wherever you really... Where like, was I the most blo- awkward? Blossomed okay. as a... The most awkward, awkward me, I guess, was because... Partially because I grew up around mostly women. I, my mom and my dad divorced when I was little. Yeah. And then I lived with my mom. And then we moved in with my grandma and my great-grandmother, who were living together at the time. And so I went through a phase where I would wear sweater vests to school and bow ties. Nice. (laughs) Mm. It was not cool. (laughs) Did you have a pocket protector? Did you just dress like the stereotype of a nerd? (laughs) I just, it was just like, I don't know, sweater vests, bow ties, and like little slacks. Um, Did you have a briefcase? Yeah. 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 A briefcase instead of a backpack? Mm -hmm. I definitely Um. got called a little old man. (laughs) Um, (laughs) that's adorable (laughs) and that like but like in school of course that's not cool no 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 no, not i didn't have i was not wearing power rangers stuff or whatever kind whatever of, the cool kids yeah. were into <laughs> right i don't remember because i watched jeopardy when i was a little right kid. and you're like yes <laughs> no is my icon alex trebek yeah exactly my style icon yeah, obviously trebek. um but yeah so that was probably the most awkward for me um when i got older and when i was in high school i 
I guess it was just that I was kind of fearless at that point when I was in high school because I got yeah. all the making fun of me got done early. Uh, that is smart. Yeah. Yeah. That I kind of uh, went through a similar thing where people made fun of me all through elementary school for being short. Yeah. And so like by the time I got to fifth grade, I was like, yeah, I'm fucking short. Like yeah. make the jokes. I like I know how tall I am. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're saying the making fun of you got done early it did not get done you That's just got true. over yeah, it right. you're absolutely right right you're absolutely right i just got used to it you, you develop just, thick skin young. yeah you just get over it but no one stopped that's so right. true you're right but yeah so then Thanks, in high Bridget. school i was living in a peaceful bubble until you <laughs> popped that for me hey that's uh what people like me are here for i, I was also awful i don't no, I even try to front. I was mean to people, <laughs> but I was also really embarrassing myself. So the worst combination. <laughs> well, you know, that's what that's what bullying is, really, just a cry for yeah. help. <laughs> <laughs> so they so were all loud. just waiting on you to like to mess up. <laughs> oh. Then... <laughs> I also was like we say that I was I was not I don't think I know, if you, you asked a real bully. Yeah. No, yeah. If, you, if you were really a bully, you would not be saying you were a bully. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think. <laughs> no, You'd I be just, in prison somewhere. I think I just <laughs> I would be in prison. Yeah. Um, no, I think I just like I was figuring out how to be funny. And my first yeah. instinct was make fun of people. Yeah. Sure. And you know, yeah, that's how you gain friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Fast track to friendship. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't know. But, um, but no, I don't think I went through an awkward phase. And I yeah. mean, obviously I was, it was an awkward phase because everybody had, I had braces and like, yeah, of yeah. Course. But it was, I stopped being embarrassed about things when I was a, like a sophomore in high school yeah so yeah that sounds about right yeah, yeah. so uh, after that even though we did i was in drama and we did yeah. i was in show choir and there was all sorts of ridiculous things that we did yeah objectively embarrassing pictures of me like in sparkly vests with the rest of the show choir right yeah and, <laughs> but it's kind of like um being in a nudist colony like yeah. when everyone else yeah, is being ridiculous yeah. like you <laughs> exactly. would you would look weird no. if you weren't also being ridiculous exactly yeah no yeah. like true true like embarrassment from these ages comes when you are completely isolated in something yeah. <laughs> when you like just called yourself out on a thing and you're just like oh yeah alone with and yeah. everyone's watching we all remember those do you have any of those moments <laughs> <laughs> those ones i don't have so much i know uh i had an awkward phase when i because i went from being on the wrestling team when i was a freshman and a sophomore uh-huh. to being in drama when i was like a junior and a senior so there was an awkward transitionary period when right. i went from i was gonna being say those are, those are venn to, diagrams that hardly cross over those two things they only cross over if you genuinely want to be a professional wrestler <laughs> oh yeah i guess you're right or yeah. if you watch high school musical uh, that's true that is very that true that is the plot of those 18 films yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I've watched all of them. <laughs> but yeah, I know this because like me and my friend, we were like me and my friend Matt, who previously mentioned, yeah. we legitimately thought about like, OK, when we are 18, we can get in. There's a professional wrestling school in L.A. that we cool. can go to. Really? Yes. There. This is stuff we legitimately thought Still out. Open? Uh, I don't know. This one's not open, but it's the one that John Cena went to. Cool. So like we thought, oh, this is, and obviously this is before John Cena. Yeah. But, um, we were like inventing our own tag team moves and we were like, okay, so this is the thing that That's you're so going to do. I love it. Wow. <laughs> and then I'm going to be, I'm going to be like the power wrestler and then you're going to be the one that jumps off of stuff and does yeah. high flying stuff. <laughs> And so the, my friend Matt and I were... You'll do the athletic stuff and I'll be support. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I'll go over the catchphrases and the costumes. Yeah. But yeah, so this is stuff that we kind of kept low key, obviously. <laughs> but wise, wise. Yeah, but I would still have WrestleMania parties every year at my house. So yeah. So it was kind of fun. Yeah. I recently, like within the last 10 years, I want to say, I growing up, I was like, oh yeah, like wrestling is a thing. I don't realize just how like deep... That dare I call oh. it a fandom went like people oh. are really into <laughs> yeah. wrestling and like yeah. in a way that and then I met somebody in college who was like oh yeah I love wrestling grew up and he like could name all the players and name all the moves the and they're not called <laughs> players Sarah <laughs> <laughs> the players I don't know shit I mean you can call them characters they yeah. are technically actors sure oh but yes of course <laughs> um, no and the then, sports entertainers yeah. or superstars <laughs> yes and then I watched a little bit of wrestling with him and he was like oh yeah see how he's gonna do this 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 and that i'm like dude i don't yeah <laughs> this I mean, is to get, like you so not to, my world with yeah. wrestling you have to get into the theater of it mm-hmm. it's not oh like, it's all yeah yeah 
uh, yeah. to appreciate it. And a lot of people, like, I feel like I can say this for a lot of wrestling nerds. We like stuff about wrestling, and once you're deep in, yeah, we like stuff that nobody else is going to like. So, like, the the thing about trying to get other people into it is that you have to show them matches that you're like, oh, whatever, this is just a spot fest or whatever. Right. This is just basically a stunt show. Yeah, that's the stuff other people are going to yeah. like. That's yeah. not, we're, they're not going to be into the oh, storytelling yeah. drama of this is a rivalry that's been going on for three years. Yeah. Yes, that's what and I like, came to appreciate about it. It's like they're like actually like those cuts. I'm just calling it cut scenes. <laughs> the, the vocabulary I'm using to describe wrestling is like everywhere. It's um, fantastic. It's a video game Never to apologize. Me. <laughs> but like when they're actually talking shit, like that's like yeah. that is the part of wrestling that is like the story. Yeah, wrestling yeah. is something that like from afar, Jesus, I just fucking love. <laughs> I just am like, wow, this it is, is so. Yeah. it's raw, dude. Like it literally is raw. Oh, I just love it. It's <laughs> it is like, raw. Um, <laughs> it's just so like fun to me. I'm yeah. like, yeah. I, I, if you took me to a wrestling show, I think I would absolutely oh, lose just, my fucking marbles. I don't marbles. think there's a person be, in the world who would. I would be wouldn't. cheering louder and harder than anyone else in that arena. It's an yeah, arena, They do right? it in arenas. Okay. On the I field? Would, uh, God. I'd be uh, like four like Miller Lights deep, like <laughs> screaming and like not even know what I'm screaming for or I, about. Yeah. But course. I guess that and like monster trucks, I think if you took me yeah. to one of those events, <laughs> oh brother, my roots would come right out. Yeah, yeah, I, mean, I was going to say your text I'd like showing. rip my sleeves off of my shirt immediately like, yeah, uh, <laughs> get them. My brother was really into at the time WWW. Oh, okay. um, the so, internet? Yes. The World Wide Web. <laughs> he, he, he was super into the internet at the time. No. Uh, yeah. So he was into WWW and I remember we were at, and I got, as a little, little sister, got proxy a lot of wrestling stuff through mm-hmm. that. And I remember we were somewhere when we were kids and there was a birthday party or something where there was a face painter and being a very influential uh, or easily influenced younger sister, my brother was like, get your face painted like Jake the Snake. Uh, <laughs> and I didn't know what that meant. And I was just like... Like just a mustache? and <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't know why he said that. I didn't really know who it was. And I was like, sure, cool little brother. You'll never lead me wrong. Uh, you never do anything to hurt me. Uh, uh, he's a good person. But in this case, uh, then as like... A seven-year-old girl got my face painted like a scary snake. Mm, okay. uh, I think that's how it was yeah, interpreted by the face yeah. painting artist. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I was going to ask, did they know that reference? Because I, 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 I would think like your average yeah. face painter. Like, oh, I, I, snake. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't <laughs> know yeah, the I reference. I recognize one of those words. I, I didn't know the reference either, so I couldn't explain it. <laughs> 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 and then every, I was just like, everybody, you know, have like all these like little kids have their face painted like normal things. Like... <laughs> A butterfly, tiger. Yeah. I was like running around with a snake face, and I remember going up to my mom, and she was literally like, huh. <laughs> "Like, there's a choice." It's very trusting uh, of your brother. Oh, it, the last time. <laughs> the last time. But yeah, uh, I mean, I was also in drama, so I guess yeah. that's that's all embarrassing. Yeah, so, when yeah. you made uh, the switch, was that cause for a ridicule from your peers, or were they like, "Of course"? The wrestling team made fun of me. But the drama yeah. kids were cool with it. That sounds right. Which, yeah, which yeah, made that, me like, okay, actually, then I like you drama kids more. Yeah, you're, yeah. you're going to be, <laughs> if you're not going to be dicks about this. Right, then. right. <laughs> oh, you yeah. care about my interests. Yeah. <laughs> you're um, being nice to me. Okay, that's cool. It's yeah. not a viciously, like, hyper masculine, yeah. abusive, like, environment that yes. we get yes. in wrestling. <laughs> So then let's talk about uh, the before times before you were like too cool to be embarrassed. <laughs> uh, what, you, do you have a time um, that, you know, that, that shakes you to your core? Let's get into it. What makes you sweat? Yeah. What makes me sweat? about Lie down on the couch and tell Bridget and <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> about a time you felt embarrassed. No, I mean, it's tough. You have it in you, I, I believe. That's true. But like... The embarrassing stuff for me, or like, like I have legitimate emotionally upsetting things, but that's not what this podcast <laughs> yeah, is for. We don't have to get it. We have that. another uh, podcast that's perfect oh, for that. Yeah. But this I've one. spoken to Michael twice about that. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, no, I think that just the more silly, embarrassing stuff yeah. is like when we were when we were kids. I mean, the where I grew up is on a mountain, 
And so it was a lot of like hippie parents and stuff like that. So when we were in high school, a lot of us kids just having our hormones all crazy and everything, we <clears throat> skinny dipped a lot at the mm. lake. There was a lot of random nudity of yeah, yeah, just and it's with drama kids and show choir. And so there was a lot of that kind of stuff that went on. So much so that um, during a cast party for, I think it was 12th Night? I can't remember. It was one of the shows that I, I, was, I think I was a senior. Would, okay. <laughs> oh, this is this is the, probably the most embarrassing one that will yeah. make people cringe the most. Love it. Um, during a cast party for 12th Night, uh, one of our friends had a pretty big house and um, his mom didn't really supervise very closely. So, and they had a hot tub. There's a bunch of us decided to get in the hot tub. Um, bathing suits came off <laughs> just because. Yeah. Uh, weird. What? Yeah. Weird high school awkwardness plus cast party plus probably some people had some alcohol. Uh, we decided to take our bathing suits off. And then one of the other girls that was in the show comes up and grabs our bathing suits and takes them and runs away Classic. with them. Yeah. Uh. And so I, I'm not thinking about it, leap from the hot tub, oh. covering myself as much as possible mm -hmm. to maintain my dignity, uh, <laughs> which didn't last very long. Yeah. yeah. Because, You're still naked. Desperate, yeah. desperate save. Yeah. <laughs> because as soon as I jumped out of the hot tub, I like landed on my heel on the wooden oh. deck and slipped. Like it, Charlie Brown yes, slip. Like full on <laughs> Charlie Brown, like vertical, yeah. like parallel with oh. the ground, slipped, land flat on my back. And I still like not thinking about this, got up, chased after her, anyways. Cool. <laughs> so then the <laughs> worst part of this is <laughs> that wasn't the worst part. The worst part I'm is absolutely go ahead. <laughs> I, I'm terrified the worst I, part is that she ran across the street with the bathing suits i did not do that okay i stopped <laughs> by the front door of the house because i was like dang it she was all she ran across the street i'm not going to chase yeah. after her but little to my knowledge my friend chris's mom had come downstairs and was walking towards the front door and the first time i ever met her I was completely naked. Oh. And so his mom and his two older sisters no. <laughs> met oh. me like this. And she was like, go, go back. Get your clothing. Oh. I will take care of her. And I was like, thanks. Hi, uh, I'm Christian. Hi, Mrs. Brown. You <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. That yeah, was so that's, that's probably the most embarrassing. Were yeah. were you drinking? I was not. I somehow that makes the story worse because yeah. Yeah. at least if you're naked and drunk, you're kind of drunk, so it's kind of like, well, uh, yeah, nah, 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 you can't be blamed for anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you know what I mean? Like you're you yeah. lose some of your like inhibitions yeah. when yeah. you've been drinking. So mm -hmm. like it's yeah. like, oh well, I'm naked, whatever. I'm also drunk, but yeah. Being naked in public sober, though. <laughs> yeah. At that like was, 17 or 18. Yeah. Um, Boy, howdy. That's. <laughs> there, there are always kids. I feel like, yeah, in the group of kids, there's always like a couple of them who are very okay with being naked mm -hmm. and like a couple of us who are very <laughs> not <laughs> okay with being naked. We're very not okay with being naked. And like, good for you if you're okay with it and I don't want to shame you, yeah. but I do want those people to be aware of how it makes everyone else in the room feel. Yeah. <laughs> and it is deeply uncomfortable. I, yeah. I went through a phase like when I was younger, I want to say like middle school, we like skinny dipped with like our neighborhood like gal pals in like mm. one of her pools or whatever. And then like, so that summer was like a very skinny dipping heavy summer. Yeah. And then after that I was like, I don't like this at all. What the fuck? <laughs> like, I fucking... Oh, and I've, yeah. I've been a stone cold prude ever since. <laughs> yeah. Like, I remember yeah. going to... This is... Okay, this is kind of the thing I said earlier about being the, a clothed person in a nudist colony because I went to the beach with, like, a bunch of my friends and it was nighttime and they were like, well, let's get naked and, like, run into the ocean and get back. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I, absolutely not. <laughs> and literally, it was two guys, two girls. Yeah. And these are like my very close and personal yeah. friends. Like, I wouldn't have a problem. But for some reason, I was like, I was like, I, absolutely not. And literally, they all got undressed. And I like looked away and held their clothes. And they all got in the water and like, split. Oh. and it was like pitch black. No one saw anything anyway. Like, it was yeah. nighttime at the beach. Yeah. But I was just like, and like, literally, like, 
I would say like seven years prior to that, I'd be like, hell yeah. But at that point, I was like, no, I... You made your parents proud. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I guess like my pubic hair had grown in and I was like, no, I can't. Like, I've developed breasts I... now. I can't possibly be naked. Any... It was okay then because yeah. I was still like a little girl. But now, no, I, <laughs> I can't. I... Yeah, I just I I never understood the appeal of it. Sure. I've never understood the appeal. Maybe of just you'll maybe you'll get into out. your phase, but like my, later, my <laughs> your skinny dipping phase. That's you haven't hit it yet. I haven't hit it yet. Yeah, I'm still growing. When that day comes, though, <laughs> we're not friends anymore. I because I won't know you then. Yeah, yeah, I'll be a different person. <laughs> Everything I've known about you has been a lie. That is a bridge too far. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bridgehead too far. I, yeah. that's, a, that's the name say. of my one woman show. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, but I do think that like I, a lot of people go through that. Phase yeah, and no, they're yeah they're you're definitely... out of it now. Just real quick. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Thank God. Yeah, I just <laughs> yeah I've just never under. Stood, I, I have a little envy of those people who are like just so comfortable and like cool about things. Yeah. Um, I was not. Uh, <laughs> no, at the time it just seemed so normal. Then you look back, and you're like, why was I naked in it's, front of my yeah, friends? Yeah. I think I just like always had that of like, what? I don't want to <laughs> see my friends naked. Yeah. I. I don't really even want to see myself naked. I, yeah. <laughs> especially at that age, I'm not comfortable Weirdly with enough, anything. If my friends my saw me naked, it kind of be one thing. I don't want to see my friends naked. They could sure. see me right. naked. That's the thing. I was like, I don't want to see you naked. You're yeah, my buddy. I'm, cool. I, like, <laughs> I'm good. I'm very you're good. My buddy. But I, that is yeah. also theater, though. That like you kind of know the yeah. choice, but you have to be because like. Right. When I have to do a quick change, it doesn't mm-hmm. goddamn yeah. matter. I have yeah. to be back on stage. You just don't think about that. And yeah. I just have the, such integrity of the theater. <laughs> I, it's true. Like my, one of my friends That's and I good. were talking backstage and she, we were like in the middle of a show and she goes, this was in college. She goes, you know, what is preventing us from just walking on stage right now? And I was like, oh my God, that has never occurred to me that <laughs> yeah. at any given point I could just like, nothing would stop me yeah. except for my own responsibility yeah. to Not this play that 15 people naked. are watching yeah. on a Sunday yeah. afternoon and it's also a piece of shit play that at is, a you know it's a piece yeah. of shit production <laughs> and yet I still would never do that like well, it's yeah. like I signed an oath like I made yeah. a blood pact well, somewhere because with there Thespis are himself rules. No, there are rules to society that's like saying oh why don't you just go out and run someone over yeah. with your car you okay, can there's a world of difference between interrupting a play and r- killing a but person like, for shit just, I, don't, I don't see it but, it, but in my mind though, it would be of the same severity of right. like what's that or like what's the like i could just be late for an entrance what's yeah. gonna happen to me That's i'd true. be deeply embarrassed i'd be <laughs> horrified yeah i mean there, oh, there God, are I'm rules i've never missed an entrance but <laughs> Look, like god forbid there are rules to the world not all of them are great but a couple of them hold society together and yeah. we kind of need them <laughs> That's like, true i'm not just gonna flip this table and walk out of here i could <laughs> But yeah. what? It's a pretty sturdy But table. I'm not a dick. Yeah, probably um, that's true. It would really anymore. interrupt the front of people. <laughs> um, perhaps the meanest thing I ever used to do, and I may have mentioned this before, but like my friends and I would go to other high schools that we knew oh, had like yeah. not as great productions. We also really grew up. I saw some high school productions and I was like, well, fuck you guys. Like, this is a million dollar budgeted show and you I truck people from Broadway to do this. Like, I can't, I can't believe what I'm watching. But then we would go to <laughs> You're see... Such an- no, it's true. We we would go to see the productions that were like truly people would wander on stage and we'd be like, what are they doing? <laughs> I mean, we yeah. Would, we would literally go, uh, our worst is sometimes we'd take notes on the playbill. So after the show, oh my God. we'd like compare notes <laughs> because it would be like people like falling down or like set pieces getting yeah. like, like yeah. when I say it was bad, it was just bad. And the, Probably when my conscience kicked in. Have I told this before? I'm not sure, but we saw a production of a play. <laughs> it's been we, a million episodes. I know, no right? Well, we've been doing this for a year now, so I'm not sure. But basically, in short of it, in case I've already repeated myself, like it was a show that we had done previously. Mm-hmm. So um, the director afterwards, I don't know how we talked to the director after the show, but um, she was like, oh, you guys are from HSPVA? And we're like, yes, yes, yes. And um, HSPVA does not teach us to do this, by the way. We're just bad people. <laughs> um, I, I don't want to give like a bad name to this prestigious school. Um, but the director goes, oh, yeah, you guys did the show last month. 
how was this one? Oh, I was like, oh, oh wow, God, and I, you can't float an ego yeah. of a of a no. well, also whatever, like, sixteen year old like that again. Like I always say, maybe the adult was wrong in the situation because yeah. yeah. that yes. was not okay for no. them to do to throw their production under the bus. Yeah, yeah. Because, to a bunch of high schoolers. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, but thankfully all of us had the good sense to be like, this was really good. Like yeah. you guys, really, I mean, it was a tricky production. You had to have a pool. It's a long story, but. Um, <laughs> Yeah, no, I, like that was kind of the day that we're like, uh, this kind of isn't fun. Yeah. We're really being quite mean. Yeah, anyway, well, next matured, weekend in school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was anyway, the, yeah, let's go like, heckle these kids at high school. That's like at the ripe age of 16 and 17. Yeah. We were like, yeah. uh, can't oh. Can't be doing t- these girlish things anymore. Yeah, now. we're now we're now just being straight up, <laughs> yeah. like condescending fuckheads. And yeah. who, who yeah. are we to be like, our high school is better than your high school? I'm like, come yeah. on. <laughs> Spoiler alert, yeah. all high school productions suck in some special way. Yeah. Yeah. If you're lucky, if you get a good one out, because I've seen some good productions, sure. but for the most part, it's just people embarrassing themselves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and doing it with like a plum and with vigor <laughs> and like with pride. Of <laughs> there was, oh, I was just, there was some show talking about this or some comedian that was like, uh, oh, my high school theater production was good. And he's like, no, it wasn't. Yeah. And he's was like, what did you do? He's like, I played Tevia in Fiddler on the Roof. And it's like, <laughs> and I was really good. And he was like, so you were 15, yeah. could not grow a beard, and we're playing a man with two daughters. And yeah. like, <laughs> it was not good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I played juror number nine in 12 Angry Men, the oh. old guy. Because I always, I mean, I've had this kind of a voice since I was like 12. Yeah, that you do early, early on in <laughs> yeah. high school. Yeah. If you can so, read even a little older, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're every ever. old guy. Yeah. 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 I was that old guy. So you're gold I was man. King Charlemagne and Pippin. Classic. Uh, yeah. That's a great role. Uh-huh. Yeah, I actually really, that one was fun. Yeah. Um, Pippin is a solid one, for, I think, for yeah. high schools to do. It's a yeah. good solid yeah, show. Welcome to high school theater cast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit like high school racy. So it's like, yes, yeah. yes. So we feel more mature doing it when we're doing it. So Right. Yeah. <laughs> a good what? luck tackling that Fosse choreography when you can't even like, yeah. <laughs> where you're not even sure how tall you're going to be one day from exactly. the next. <laughs> but Peter sounds fun though. Yeah. Yeah, you should do it. Should I go down the high school and <laughs> Sarah, you want to give me notes? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. What is your objective, Bridget? Oh. Super objective. I had to take acting classes in college. Yeah. As part of like the mandatory thing. It was film school. You get it. Um, <laughs> and I remember trying so hard in those acting classes to get a B minus because that's how I felt I <laughs> would Aww. actually be yeah, as an very actor. Self-aware. So I <laughs> tried really hard. It is impossible not to get you like True. to get an A You're in those classes. To get an a. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And I tried so hard and I was like, there's nothing I can do. I like no, the only... I don't have it in me to just like not do anything. Right. right. Uh, yeah. That's the only way you're gonna get points. You either get an A taken or an F. It's a pass fail. Right. You're yeah. just not putting forth any effort at yeah. all. Mm-hmm. But I was like, yeah, I just remember being like, yeah, there's it's too late for me. Yeah. You guys it, don't it need to make be, me do this. On the flip side, it'd be way fucking harsh if a teacher or professor was grading you on how well of an actor you were in an acting class. Yeah. God, uh, that would really slash that, some yeah, dreams, I know. huh? Yeah. Uh, did you guys, I'm sure it has happened to you in any of your acting classes where like the teacher gives you a monologue based off something they think you can do really well. Like a very, they're like, yeah. you should do this one specific, like they give oh, everyone. Yeah. Did you ever read too much into any of those? <laughs> oh my god no I don't I, know no, no I didn't no. oh I did now no. I am the one, but... time, the one time it happened to me it was like they gave me uh, some it, it means nothing but I'm anxiety ridden uh, <laughs> <laughs> searching for the word and it was like some girl who was in an institution because she set a girl on fire okay. <laughs> and I was like what about me? <laughs> <laughs> was it like you? Yes. Yeah. I just it was like a very intense and dark thing. Yeah. And it was just like, what am I presenting to people? <laughs> yeah, no, I could I was always um I always did character parts. So thankfully yeah. like I could never because like what the fuck do I read into that I'm 
playing all these like big well exactly that's what i thought i was gonna get (laughs) oh no 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 they they fed it right to you yeah Yeah. i take it i sometimes i take it personally now when i'm actually getting casting calls yeah and it's up for me to submit for the part yeah and it's like i read the description i'm like fuck i guess that's me (laughs) like like, i hope not yeah, they probably feel that when you read a casting description and you're like, well, this is just a stereotype of me. <laughs> yeah, not- or, or sometimes it's like, we're looking for like real women, not entirely extremely beautiful, but you know, okay looking. I'm like, all right. <laughs> Stop. I know. Yeah. Fine. Fucking. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah. Now, now I'm thinking about like, I got one of my teachers assigned me like a monologue from moonlighting with uh or not wasn't wasn't moonlighting it was the one with nicholas cage and Cher. oh uh, that is uh, uh moonstruck moonstruck, moonstruck. Yeah. My, uh, uh, yes. that movie's perfect <laughs> he gave me <laughs> a nicholas cage flawless. monologue yeah. from that oh movie. he's so good in that and movie he was good in that, that i was like no what? that's like that's a good one yeah. oh yeah that's that's a real that's, fun big that's one good cage. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh everyone watch moonstruck it is a flawless movie <laughs> <laughs> i love moonstruck shares hair in a frame rate today <laughs> yeah. shares hair has never looked better no yeah uh, it's really very good in that movie uh, yeah <laughs> uh that is that is great. Uh, I I had a problem, um, and this is just who I am. And I mm-hmm. think this was maybe my maturity level. Like I was a very mature and precocious young person, but mm-hmm. like every time I was given a scene or something to work with, I would always try to find a way to make a comedic, mm-hmm. and that mm-hmm. led to a lot of moments yeah. in class where I'm like, "Hey guys, right?" And my teacher would be <laughs> Death like, "Death of a salesman, <laughs> but funny." <laughs> my te- my te- like I had to direct a scene. Um, it was between. It was in Much Ado, and it's Benedict and Beatrice, and oh, it's the that's... scene where Beatrice is telling Benedict. You know, Beatrice is telling Benedict to kill Claudio. And I was like, we can make this funny. <laughs> and like, those characters are funny. They are funny. funny. They well, are. it's yeah. a romantic comedy. And I was yeah. like, cool, I'll like t- throw the plates up, which is theater time. I'm like, yeah. I'll make this funny. And my I'm teacher, learning so much. And my teacher was like, <laughs> Sarah, in one sentence, what is the scene about? I'm like, oh, Beatrice is trying to make Benedict kill Claudio. And she goes, and is that funny to you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I was like, you know, like in a shh. Shakespearean <laughs> in like a dark way. way. Tragic. And it was yeah, like it was basically her calling me out on the fact that like you didn't actually like really read too yeah. much into this. So you, I was like, I really kind of don't want to be a director, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Sorry, I just don't really <laughs> You want did the to. thing you wanted to do. Yeah. And later in life, um, in college, there was a directing class and my professor, we had one female professor that was full time. She said, you know, I'm a little bit upset that there are no women taking the directing classes. I think we need more women directors. Yes. And I full on was like, Nancy, I'll just shoot straight with you. I don't want to direct. <laughs> like, I'll be the first female something else, but... Uh, <laughs> Not sorry. your man. You uh, can't shatter yeah. every I glass support, ceiling. <laughs> I support women directors. I support everyone to be directors. I think directing should be diversified. It's just not going to be me. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'll support some. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, Nancy, uh, sorry, I'm, maybe I'm a sexist. I just don't. I don't want to do this. Maybe I hate women. You know, know, some people are born to lead, and uh, I, some I, people know what they're good at. Yeah, I'll take, I'll take on, support people. I'll take on leadership roles in other ways. Like I will write. <laughs> sure, I'll yeah. maybe even produce a little bit. I just don't want to. I will kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I just. Uh, Swing and a miss. Mm-hmm. Swing and a miss. Yeah. That to me was like what was embarrassing about being in theater was like I would do a scene and like really commit to something and then like the notes being like, so that wasn't exactly, mm-hmm. that was a choice. <laughs> this didn't happen to me, yeah. but it did happen to a friend and I was like, oh my God, this is brutal. Um, it was in, a uh, funny thing happened on the way to the forum and he played like, I don't know, like one of like the servants or I guess whatever. And um he came out with a British accent and was doing this whole thing in a British accent. And like day one of rehearsal, the director was like, so I do respect that you've made a choice (laughs) and I want to honor that. It's just not a choice that I think we should go with. And that turned into something my friends and I would say, we'd always be like, so that's a choice. It's the wrong choice, but it was a choice. And I thank you for that. How cutting is that? uh, When I, because again, and this has been re- re- reiterated many times, did not do theater, but when mm-hmm. I started taking, I have a degree in playwriting. Um, <laughs> I have a bachelor's of science in playwriting. Um, 
<laughs> so when I started taking that and I learned like the acting classes, the phrase, that was a choice or you made a choice. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wish I had access to when I was being mean to people. <laughs> oh my God. It's like it's the so funniest cutting. thing it's, to say. It's yeah. so yeah. cutting. Yeah. So it's, you yeah, made a choice. It's like a joke between my friends and yeah. I was like, well, that was a choice. Certainly. It's, it's a choice. Such a good phrase. I can't um, remember what movie I just recently saw, but like my one note about it was like, well, choices were made. <laughs> for sure they were making choices and I definitely saw choices made. Mm-hmm. So good for them. Yeah. Do you, did you have any like harsh criticism moments that you're like, oh, I fucked up? <laughs> no, I think no, you're no, perfect. No, I wasn't perfect, <laughs> but I was too just, humble. I was very much in the in my lane of yeah. playing characters that I mean, you hear my yeah. voice, you know, <laughs> playing the old this, man, yeah. in, <laughs> very much in your lane. Yeah, right. And, like I was, uh, I was Orsino in Twelfth Night. I was like. A bunch of bit parts in Annie. I was Bob the Sheep in the Revenge of the Space Pandas, which was yes, yeah. of course, the Tony Award winning. <laughs> yeah, you surprise. You said that, and I like that's Ibsen, isn't it? Or I, I, I was, I was just like rolling through a Rolodex, and I was like, no, that's not a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah, it was one that my right that my drama teacher had done when he was in high school i was i was really hoping you're gonna say my drama teacher wrote it <laughs> i was hoping for that as well <laughs> no but he had done it in high school and he had played my part so that we my oh, drama was a teacher legacy I, did you feel special uh, i don't know because we had kind of he was okay i guess he was very pushy to me like he saw like maybe i have potential or whatever ah uh, so like you're his project kind of yeah, yeah. And so that's that's why I ended up playing juror number whatever in Twelfth Night, and why I had to be the old man. I had to do all these other things, mm-hmm. and so yeah, I was kind of his project, and it was weird. Our relationship was weird. Yeah, teachers need to stop doing that. Yeah, <laughs> like, teachers need to stop caring about their like, students. Don't, it's really don't uncomfortable. Don't put that on me. I <laughs> yeah. yeah. There's plenty of other people that would prefer that kind of pressure, but. <laughs> Yeah, you're yeah. not um, you're you're not some like great theatrical director. It's yeah. like, well, thank you for <laughs> singling me out. Yeah, but uh, yeah, that was. I mean, I guess drama was as normal as it could be for yeah. drama, yeah. which is awkward yeah. in high school. The, but. the state like there's a different threshold of humiliation yeah. because there is a fine line between like, boy, I really embarrassed myself in theater day, and then also like, I don't know about you, but like after a certain point, like there just kind of came a time where like we'd finish a scene or whatever, just botch it, just humiliate ourselves, and then walk back to our friends and be like, well, fuck. <laughs> Guys, I fucking, I did that scene, yeah. I guess. Uh, I don't know how that's, yeah. how that just went for me. You but feel all the right. awkwardness in the room. You're like, oh, well. That's but so it does cool. become like, it does become like a solidarity thing that like everyone yeah. has been there yeah. before yeah. and yeah. will be there again. Yeah. So it's like, don't uh. point and laugh because you will be the one mm-hmm. that is eating shit yeah. Oh, that's so much healthier than what they do to you in sports <laughs> where, where they just tell you everything's your fault yeah. and you should be really hard on yourself every time you mess up. Why yeah. do you think <laughs> I went from wrestling to theater? <laughs> it's like, and stayed. You were, I didn't go back to wrestling. You, you, yeah. were, you were much smarter than me, uh, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's that's the most awkward like in school stuff. Otherwise, yeah. there was awkward like dating stuff when I was oh, a kid because there was <laughs> there was <laughs> yes, one. Christian. Uh, where's, okay, why have you been holding on? Yeah, there's a. I mean, I, it's not. I don't want to say it was a will they won't they thing with me and one one of the girls that I dated in high school. But it was kind of that where we were friends and then we were dating and then we were friends. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah. a Willie Won't that. Sure. Classic, you know? But, it's high school. Everything's dialed up to 11. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But one thing that should have clued me in that it was not going to be a positive relationship mm. was in, I think, my, I think my senior year. Um, we had gone to the lake to go swimming and just hang out. Um, to make out. Uh, that didn't happen. But <laughs> mm, <laughs> we wow. actually did just hang out and talk. And like, because this is one of the friendship periods of our relationship. Oh, okay. So it was like, you know. Sounds still, like you dropped a ball, but. We still want to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we still want to be really good friends. even And yeah. whatever. But um, so what happened was I had changed into my bathing suit and then I changed back into my regular clothing. So you were wearing clothes this yeah. time when you swam? <laughs> okay, just Smart. checking, just checking. This time, yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I had changed and I forgot my bathing suit in her car. Um, 
This seems to be a theme. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was clothed this time. But um, no, so a couple days later, I guess she was giving a ride to one of her friends and they found it in her car. <gasps> oh, And scandal. so, yeah, they asked her what had happened and she was coy and not forward about what yeah. the fact that nothing oh, she, had happened yeah mm. and so then rumors started about like what had happened between us and she didn't try to disarm them at all yeah and so it was left to me to try to disarm everything uh, that's a horrible situation in high school because there's <laughs> definitely like where you're like well if i say no it's gonna <laughs> exactly. sound like if you get too defensive it sounds right. weird yeah and then like any level of defense it's just it's all gonna backfire yeah, there's yeah no but good then situation. if you accept it you're like a dirty right yeah. pig. Like, like you're just a pig uh, if you're like oh yeah totally that is not <laughs> ew right. yeah 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 the, yeah then you're like a lot and then if you say no everyone's gonna be like yeah no sure yeah. and then like every <laughs> that is exactly what there, happened there's no way to get out of that situation no, no uh, graceful way to deal with that one no that but. yeah that is a very just i'm surprised assholes like, in high school thing that yeah. you just yeah, j- j- a little gender politics here. I'm surprised that it was not like you were the one who was coy, and then she, because like sometimes that happens yeah. with people of your kind. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. No, that's completely um, fair. Yeah, it was just that. Like I don't know. Um, I didn't want. Okay, I, the relationship <laughs> at the time meant something to me because it was a high school relationship. Yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah. and this, it was this girl that I had been on yeah. and off like trying to figure out for a couple of years and so it was important to me right. and so it wasn't like I didn't want to like I yeah. didn't want to besmirch her name or whatever oh. I want, no I don't want to be a dick yeah. and yeah. so it was just good for you <laughs> I'm sorry I mean it's, it wound up sucking yeah, yeah it you, did really but... it was not fun uh. <laughs> that sucks that, like, yeah, that, that whole really situation suck. sucks uh, yeah cause like I'm trying I'm trying and I do see it from her perspective sure kind of i mean <laughs> she should have just been like oh no uh, but like when you're not mature yeah you like free like i can see that she like her decision making at that point was just like i can go one of two ways here <laughs> yeah yeah she chose the wrong way but like you can't blame her at you yeah. know 16 or whatever yeah. also like if i was 16 and saw like clothing like that in another person's car oh it wouldn't oh. even matter what they said to me oh. i'd be like okay so that's they the hooked other up yeah that's 100 yeah. percent. that yeah that's also the other thing it's just the like, idea that anything platonic occurred would right. i would be like oh bullshit because no. it's, it's so much more fun you at also, your expense yeah. but yeah. it is more fun you don't want to hear that story <laughs> you don't want to hear that you just forgot it no yeah. that's not the good story no that's not yeah i'm gonna run with uh what i want to hear <laughs> wow. and the truth doesn't matter at that no, point yeah exactly um uh, yeah, that uh, yeah, I, I don't know what the solution to that is long term because yeah, I you just kind of like, have to let that one simmer. Yeah, let it kind of die down. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes I, in high school, the best you could do is just kind of like brace Lalo. yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. Just, just like, like wait kind of shut for up. something else to come up. And oh, because something will. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. Just let yourself get crushed by that wave; it will pass. You <laughs> just know? wait. Yeah. I yeah <laughs> that maybe sign off of AIM for a little bit of time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take a break from MySpace or Facebook. No, because yeah. I definitely remember that happening. Of like, I I had a friend, mm-hmm. uh, 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 like my boy next door neighbor boy Mm -hmm. who was my first kiss and then i talked about it on the show and i've talked about this before and then everyone found out uh (laughs) and anytime it ruined our friendship because anytime not because of how we reacted we didn't end up like dating or anything um but just because of how everybody else reacted ruined our friendship like anytime because anytime we like we were friends and anytime we like hung out everyone's like yeah, Bridget and this guy yeah. sitting in a tree, and we were just like, "Well, man, that was a mistake." Yeah, and yeah. Uh, now I uh, am afraid of naked people. <laughs> <laughs> Again, this is why I never tell anyone about anything any, about well, a crush, a guy I'm talking to, <laughs> even to this very fucking day. Because early on, I was scarred too many times by like, "Oh, maybe we're gonna start dating," and then just everyone making yeah. a goddamn scene about yeah. it. And it's like, well, I hate this now. So well, that's where uh, the lesson for me was learned. Because uh, this, the the makeout, this the makeout will never, I'll never forget. Uh, <laughs> happened in front of every it was at a homecoming after party Mm. so Uh. just like 
everyone was there, you know, it was an introduction to the gross dance floor makeout. Mm -hmm. yeah. And especially at a, like a first makeout where yeah. no one knows <laughs> what's, what they're doing. Don't know where, oh, where man. does this go in relation to that? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Learn, learn that lesson the hard way. The, the, don't, uh, don't do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And it has not stopped me. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I think we've all learned some I, valuable I, lessons We today. have all yeah. pinned ourselves in corners here. So, <laughs> <laughs> uh, But Christian, thank you so of much course. for coming on yeah. and sharing with us. I will uh, find that songbook. Oh, that please. Uh, Christian, I have to commend you because you really put yourself out there on, on Twitter. I was saying <laughs> that like you... And a few other people like jumped in on this thread. It just yeah. like, it was like so beautiful. Oh, we had like oh, yeah, we that, had some was previous fun. rough stuff guests like contribute to this of just like photos yeah. of like oh, your I, I think your it was teens. pop punk phases. Yeah, you know, pop punk phases. Yeah. right. That I famously didn't go through. But yeah, yeah. Oh, you missed out. Yeah, I think yeah we all. Uh, you know, I saw the photos and I think I'm good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now that's a good it. time. <laughs> yeah, you missed out on some good warp tour. Uh, yeah, exactly. No, but that's... it was great, and thank you for doing that. Of course, uh, you yeah. really lead the charge on <laughs> yeah. embarrassing yourself on Twitter, and yeah. and have you on is such a privilege. Yeah, yeah. speaking. I'm happy to be yeah, here. speaking of your Twitter, let people know where uh, they can find yeah. you. Plug on Plug Twitter. Away. I'm at fanboy Christian. Christian with no H. Um, I'm also now I'm hosting a show on uh, Gamefully Unemployed, yeah. which is Choose Your Own Misadventure. We just recorded one of those today. Um, yeah, uh, our sister channel to Small Beans. And on Small Beans, of course, I'm on Pop Culture Petri Dish with Abe. Yeah. Hi, Abe. Abe's not, <laughs> Abe's not in the room. Who are you talking to? Abe, but, yeah. well, Abe hasn't been in this room in 25 years. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's where you can find my stuff. Very cool. And mm -hmm. you can find this podcast on all social medias at Rough Stuff Pod. Me personally on Twitter at Bridget Tweets and then support the Patreon. You guys know what to do. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I'm at SK underscore Griffith. And yeah, give me money directly and then I'll make sure it goes to the Patreon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> of she, course. She's real good with monies. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all three of them. Yeah, look out for the Instagram. Christian, if you can send us some of your best photos from this yearbook. Oh, of course. Uh, yes. I know, I know I you've got many at the ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Instagram, we can upload up to 10. Yeah. Just saying. <laughs> Go ape shit. Yeah. yeah. I, will, I will definitely find yeah. The ones in here, and of course, the, the lots of them that came from like we went on a choir trip, it was a cruise oh, for a show choir. Disgusting, <laughs> I love it. Oh, can't wait. Yeah. Why look out, look out for that on the Instagram. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>